the new Primary Arms ACSS 1-6 Gen 3. Let's check it out. Guys, finding the right optic for your rifle can be a real challenge, especially if you're looking for that reasonably priced scope uh, that you want to hold up, that you want to be able to put on a rifle that's a defensive rifle and not be concerned that it's going to break later on and let you down. Uh, one of the things I've found is that the primary arms line of optics is just top notch. Uh, the, the glass is really excellent. Uh, the, uh, it's very durable. They're very solid scopes. But one of the big things that puts the primary arms above most of your other reasonably priced scopes is the ACSS reticle. Uh, it is hands down my favorite reticle system, and for good reason. Uh, Trijicon just picked it up for two of their scopes, and I have one of the ACOGs with the ACSS, and it is a superior sighting system, uh, hands down. So we're gonna look today at the primary arms one to six ACSS reticle. This is their Gen 3, and there are some improvements to this reticle system over the Gen 2, plus some other things. You can see the scope fits really nice on the rifle. Uh, it's one to six, so you have you know up close and personal with the one power, and then you can reach on out with the six power, uh, which this is capable of you know 800 yard shots. So that really gives you a lot of versatility with this style of rifle. We're gonna move the magazine, make sure the gun is unloaded, and chamber's empty. Now the biggest question of the day is what are the differences between the Gen 2 and the Gen 3? This is the Gen 2 on top. You can see that it is longer, and in fact, this is uh, 10 and 3 quarter inches, while the Gen 3 is just 10 inches. So you have a 3 quarter inch difference. The Gen 2 weighs 17.6 ounces, whereas the Gen 3 weighs 15.7 ounces. So you've got about a two ounce difference uh, on top of that. But guys, the biggest difference is in the ACSS reticle system. Here we have the Gen 2. You can see the horseshoe, and then we have just the dot. Uh, this is very effective. Uh, then you have your stratia lines that go down for your range estimation. Four, six, and 800 are marked. On the right, you have your also your quick range estimation where if somebody's standing with their feet at the bottom line their head should be at the top of whatever line to be able to estimate that range and of course you can see that it goes four five six seven eight now we have it at the brightest setting and uh, with the camera it's going to be a little dim more dim than it is this usually shows up pretty good but this is at the brightest setting now here we have the gen 3 acss You'll notice the horseshoe, but in dead center, there's not a dot, it's a chevron. This is going to allow you to be able to get more pinpoint accuracy out to distance. You're not limited to the size of the dot. The bullet drop compensation is the same, the uh, wind holdovers are the same, but on the right with the auto ranging, uh, you've got those numbers kind of cleaned up. So you're going from four, six to eight, and that's going to definitely give you a little less clutter in the optic. Go ahead and turn that on. As you can see, it's a lot brighter. Now that's at the 11, and uh, you know you can turn it down. But it does seem to be quite a bit brighter than the original uh, Gen 2. And that just may mean that this is a fresher battery, because I did put a fresh battery in here before I started this one. But you can see how nice that kind of really shows up. This also illuminates the bullet drop compensation down below the Chevron. But you can also see how clear the glass is. And here we've got it at one power, and we're going to just bring it on out to six. You can see how the glass just is really good and crisp. Uh, and that is 
through this iPhone, which is going to make a little bit of a difference. But you can really get that range out there. Now definitely for long range, magnified optic is great. But having that one power capability, uh, being able to get it to where you can really bring it up quick and have in focus what's in front of you, that is huge. And that's one of the reasons why these are so popular. Uh, and then as you go out some, you can just kind of up your uh, magnification to two to three to get a little better field of view. And then of course, when you want that pinpoint accuracy at distance, you can jump it out to six and you're ready to go. Now here's what the Gen 3 ACSS reticle looks like. You have your horseshoe that comes around. This will attract your eye right to the chevron, which is right here in the center. Uh, you have your tip here, which allows for really good accuracy, and that's going to be at 100 yards. Now down below, you have your bullet drop compensation that goes all the way down to 800 yards. And then, if you'll notice, these lines. Each of these lines represents 18 inches from four all the way down to 800. That is if a man is prone, he's typically 18 inches in width. And so this will allow you for your range estimation. Plus you have your wind holdovers for five mile an hour winds that come all the way down the side. Now here on the either side of the horseshoe is your leads. And this is for a man running. And then the outside of the horseshoe is for a man walking. Right here you have your auto ranging graft right here and if someone's standing here wherever their head touches is going to be the yardage, the estimated yardage distance. So if a man has his feet here and he's standing at the top he's at 400, 600 and then down here at 800. It's a really quick way to be able to get on target fast. Now we're going to go through the illumination. Uh, this is one, two, three, Four is typically where we start to pick it up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, twelve is back off. So eleven is your highest setting. It is red, even though it's so bright, it's auto adjusting the exposure. But it is a very bright light. Now, guys, to be honest, uh, typically this is the way I shoot. Uh, it's very unusual that I actually turn on my illumination except in uh, low light situations. And then I can adjust it to whatever I want to uh, to make it applicable to what I'm shooting. It's a 30 millimeter tube and it's 6063 T6 aluminum, this hard anodized finish. The reticle system is for 223 or 5.56, uh, 308 or 5.45 by 3.9, so your um, AK-74 variant will also, this will work with it. Uh, you need to sight it in at the 6 power at 100 yards to get the correct range estimation. Uh, it is a waterproof scope, it's fog proof, uh, the glass is coated, and it's just a good solid clear glass as we've seen. Back here you have focus on the ocular ring and this helps you to, especially if you need glasses or you need to correct, you can use this ring to, to get the focus of the reticle. The eye relief is 3.3 to 3.5 inches. The brightness knob is on the left side and you can see that it's clearly marked all the way up to 11. So you have 12 total settings including the off position. The CR2032 battery is housed right here and this is your common battery size for this optic. In fact, I get these on eBay or Amazon uh, pretty readily. And it's really easy. There are no fingers to break, which is a problem with some. And I'm not really sure the battery life on these. I like to keep it in the off position as much as possible, especially shooting during daylight. And then I'll engage the illumination at low light or dusk. Of course, your windage and elevation turrets are right on the side, and uh, these are easy to come off. They're clearly marked, and you can just use your hand to be able to click these. The adjustments are half MOA for each click, up to 50 adjustment. So you've got 50 MOA for both, and uh, that's an improvement over the original Gen 2, which was only at 40 MOA. Another thing, too, is that in your cap, you have a spare battery right here, and this is going to be included. The magnification ring goes from one, and these are clearly marked, all the way up to six power. And again, it's pretty smooth, a little smoother than the original Gen 2. Now these are second focal plane scopes, so no matter how you turn up the magnification or bring it down, 
the reticle is going to stay the same. In first focal plane, it actually makes the reticle larger as you increase magnification and smaller as you decrease. And again, the Gen 3 weighs 15.7 ounces and it's 10 inches in length. So it's a lighter, shorter scope than the Gen 2. I want to thank Federal Premium for sending the American Eagle. And uh, we're just getting some good clean ammunition. Federal's just been a staple, especially this American Eagle stuff. With the reduction of weight and length of the scope, it makes it even better on your rifle. Uh, whether it's the AR-15 or the AK-74, uh, or a 308 rifle. Uh, there's just a lot of options with this scope. Uh, the reticle system, the Chevron, definitely makes a difference. I mean, you can get a real pinpoint on the tip of that Chevron uh, to infinity. I mean, it just, you can really get it small. With the dot, you have still the dot and the size, and it can cover up uh, your point of aim. You know, just the ACSS reticle in itself, it's top notch. I've <coughs> shot quite a few and have a few ACSS reticle systems and again they are hands down my favorite uh, they're just easy and that's one of the things I like I can just while I'm shooting I can look I can range estimate I can check the wind everything's just right there at my fingertip And guys, I get a lot of questions about the foam rest that I use. That's from Foam Action Sports. It weighs two ounces. They're just great, very handy items to have at the range. Beautiful. The glass is good and clear, making shots from one to two to 300 yards is just not difficult at all. You can go to the Primary Arms YouTube channel and watch Dimitri shoot really extended distances using the ACSS reticle system. And he is the one who actually invented this system. Um, just a great asset for Primary Arms and a top-notch guy in between. The steel targets that I use are from shootsteel.com and they offer a 10% discount using Such00 at checkout. Now the price on the ACSS 1 to 6 Gen 3 is $289.99. You can go down into the description, there'll be a live link. If you click on that link, you'll also get a free scope mount and you'll get free shipping, which makes it nice that Primary Arms is doing that. And we're working together on this optic system because I think that this is one of the best reticle systems and one of the best 1 to 6s on the market. You add the lifetime warranty on it and guys, it's just a no-brainer. Uh, I've had a lot of experience with these scopes, and they have just been excellent, top-notch. And so, Primary Arms, I think they're really doing it right. With the ACSS reticle, it's really difficult to go wrong. And I want to thank Primary Arms for sending the 1-6 to ACSS Gen 3 for this test and evaluation and their support. I really do appreciate it. Uh, they're a great company to deal with. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. So we're going to check it out. Great. We're going to move the magazine. Fabucha. The American Eagle. Fly, be free. But the big problem still remains is finding that right optic. I don't want to just run my freaking mouth for two days. I just want to just say what I got to say. These mosquitoes are killing me. They just lend themselves to being something that's just fantastic in the cosmos. I mean, the universe is not even complete without the primary arms. ACSS reticle.